This is a clip from the Red Cow Arcade podcast. Something I, I wanted to talk <laughs> about somewhat in depth was, um, so the last time we recorded a podcast, there were funny moments. Sometimes we have a funny moment or two or three or four or five. We impersonate, right. we impersonate Bimmy or we... Uh, say Lord X or say Lord X. something. Or whatever. You know. A good story that's that's worthy of preservation. And the clips are great. I like releasing clips on the, you know, Red Cow Arcade YouTube channel. But um there was sometimes, you know, if you if 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 there's like some good content in the center of a twenty minute clip, then it could be missed or or not easily accessed. Sometimes like just the other day somebody commented they were like, Where's that clip of you impersonating um like Tony from Hack the Boobies? Um and I had to find it and time code it for him because that's the kind of white glove service you get around here. <laughs> and um, we're uh, ultra responders of comments. That's right. <laughs> Just slobberingly grateful for for any bit of attention you you throw our way. Uh, but I so I, I I had this thought of like well. Some of these are like micro, you know, like like just this one moment where we were impersonating the midnight midnight edge guy. You know, and the 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 propaganda Kathleen Kennedy guy, <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy, <laughs> racism, last Jedi all over again. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it's it's good because it's like a it's such a specific thing. Like, yeah, I, I'm starting to feel like we're we're gaining a reputation for like <laughs> what we do is impersonate YouTubers. Yeah. Um, in mid conversation, and, and uh, which um, especially with like Sega Lord X, like I don't know, border it borders on like also mocking him, but we love him. We like we totally yeah. love him, but it's just I think it's just like we we listen to him all the time, and I think we're both comedians who naturally want to <laughs> like impersonate. In fact, the things Dan, that we... our friend Dan, who's been on the podcast, he signed up for the Patreon on Sega Lord X and messaged him and said like, Hey, these guys really like you. You should be on their podcast. But then he was struggling to find a clip that out of context wouldn't come off, you know, cunty. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we, we have, we have a, a little bit of a, a, a sandwich of, of mocking praise. I don't feel that it represents us very well. Like we, we obviously aren't our best rep representation. Cause I feel like I love this man. I, I don't want him to see me. But but then, but if you find any given clip, I'm like oh like lame video game YouTube content. But I don't yeah. mean lame like bad. I mean like like straightforward. You know? Well, I, I think you know where we grew up in Massachusetts, we're ball busters. Where yeah. it's 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 a it's the love language. It's yeah. kind of rough. It's tough. It's like you're yeah. like puppies wrestling. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm just nipping at Sega Lord X. <laughs> I'm just tussling with him in our little pig pen. I'm not, I love the guy. <laughs> so, um, so I was like, yeah, you know, if these things are under a minute, so some people, you know, this, we've talked about like YouTube shorts before I've seen these things go by and it's become obvious that, that TikTok probably forced the issue. They, they probably caused that feature to be invented. Yeah. Uh, Instagram sort of reels vertical, and all that. Yeah. The vertical resolution phone resolution thing. That's, um, filled with little text boxes and emojis and um, yeah. you can make it on your phone. There's no video editing software necessary. And yeah, makeup tutorials or whatever. <laughs> right. Or like, I got a small waist, pretty face with a big bank. And it's, you know, just women showing their asses. <laughs> do one of those. Have John do it. Um, <laughs> and then like Instagram reels is the same thing. Facebook reels is the same thing. So people were like, wait, you ever want to do like a YouTube short? Like maybe like a, like a quick one minute version of Box Mac. I was like, actually years ago, we cut together little one minute versions of, of some of the Box Mac episodes. So I have some ready to go. But I was like for, for some of these impersonations, eh, I, you know, why, why not? I'll, I'll throw, throw one of those up. But then like, ever, like anything, I start over engineering it. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, if it's going to be vertical resolution, then okay, I could put our dual screen pod, you know, vertically – and then it's like, well, now with, in the shorter format, there's more, um, I, I don't know. It, it seems more appropriate to cut to the clip of what we're talking about, you know, to make it kind of more visually yeah. dyna dynamic and, and then you brand it so they know where to go. And you just, it turns into like this whole project. Like it ends, it, it ends up taking like an hour for me to make a, you know, a, a good one for one minute. 
But then I did it like five times. We did like the Anakin's backpack. We did uh, the uh, <laughs> Honest Trailers. Um, we did one that I haven't released publicly yet. Um, it, it, it's the the I don't give a fuck, ma'am one, which is probably the best one. And uh, well, once I had five of those and was putting them on YouTube, then it, and by the way, for those curious, all you have to do to make a, a YouTube short is make it under one minute. And have it be vertical resolution, and YouTube will make it a YouTube short. I and, see. Oh, really? That's... Yeah. You don't have to. You don't upload it as a short or something. Yeah, that's interesting. I would have thought you'd like select something. Yeah, you do on Instagram and Facebook. You go to Reels, but but once we had all that content, all that bullshitty content, um, which I I could then be proud of because it was actually like edited and it wasn't done in my phone. This is so funny. It's like it's a format invented to be done on your phone to like to do in bed and throw yeah. some, you know, filters, filters on and make your like head big and your body small. But it, t- <laughs> it turns into like, well, how do I and suddenly, to be honest, like it became really fun. It was like, well, how do I tell a compelling joke or story? How do I take this moment from the podcast and make it really strong? It, and, and even the vertical resolution was kind of fun because it was like a different, you know, like I said, it was like a different canvas to paint on. It was like, oh, well. I don't know, like it, it already has a different vibe to even just stack us vertically and then be able to cut full screen to to the other person. So then like cutting to the laugh is, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's filmmaking, it's editing, it's timing. Um, and you were very nice. You were like, uh, we're, are, we're already the best at TikTok and we just started. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like, especially, I don't know, the, we got a few views on TikTok, like 600 on some of them. The Anakin one got over a thousand. So I don't yeah, know so how much you know, they're actually watching them. But yeah. once we had the content, we were like, well, this is, we should probably open a, a TikTok. And people had suggested, like, ever think about going on TikTok? And I was like, no, fucking propaganda Chinese Ch- government Chinese <laughs> government has our information whatever and what I've learned so and I uploaded everything that we've made to that so far and what I've learned from that and from Instagram reels and maybe even more so from Instagram reels is that it's like it's like the opposite of how I of everything I know about content like um on YouTube if you opened a new channel, brand new channel, and you started like spamming it with content, like yeah, YouTube is not going to promote that. Um, like I, they're going to regard you as spam until until you can I don't I guess find some other way to get recommended or find some yeah. other way. To, you might be it's, permanently flagged. Who knows? Yeah, just right out of the gate. This thing is like it's like the anti-spam filter. <laughs> this thing is like, <laughs> join us and we will spam your content to ever you know to anybody who just clog up the pipes and just and throw it all in. It's clear that, it, that they'll do it in bursts. They'll spam your stuff for a little while and then they won't anymore. And I think it's because they're it's like they don't recirculate content. Like whereas YouTube kind of does. Like YouTube will recirculate something from a year ago, but this is like no. Like if it's old, it's old. Like make a new one. Um, hmm. So when you yeah, especially if you upload a bunch of stuff or whatever. And yeah, it's like it was like I mean, on, on Instagram, I upload something and an hour later it has 5,000 views. Now, yeah. a lot of that's auto play, I'm sure, and but it even has like decent engagement where people are clicking like and it's just crazy. It's it's and and uh, you know, uh, um the overall views on the clips channel, I wouldn't say that like they, you know, exploded or something, but they were up. They like across the board, they were kind of up. And I think it's just because the, the stupid short, but something I can't figure out is they, it's still like, like any other upload, it asks you, do you want to monetize the, the, um, the short, but obviously you're not going to run an ad on a one minute short. So I don't know how that works exactly. Hmm. Or is it <laughs> just like a feature they never turned off because they tried to consolidate these things? Could be, but I'm actually having fun. And, um, it does feel like a fun way to reach a different audience to do a very quick pitch. As often, I think we do have that problem because we have kind of somewhat diverse content. It can be hard, like cutting a channel trailer together can be really challenging. You feel like you don't really tell the story of your channel because there's tons of stuff. And it, but like doing a quick commercial, to somebody who might actually watch it of of a new video that you put up. Like I, I'm not sure I would do a TikTok for every single you know, like mm. a one minute version of every single upload. 
but strategically, I, I might, you know, it's like a, a video out, like, you know, probably for the NES review, like some, you know, a high yeah. effort thing like that. Yeah. Um, even like a minute review of each game or something. Or yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It's a different, it's just a different way to tell stories. And, uh, yeah, certainly I, started, for th- I, I started fooling around with like beans for my dad, making it like a minute short and stuff like that. I haven't, I haven't uploaded them yet. Cause I, cause I was trying to get the, uh, fire pit out the door now like i i get distracted by the main content too much but i was the i was the opposite i i had to edit the seekonk flea thing before i left for the mount washington race and i was too busy like oh okay i could do this tick and we i was getting you know coaxed on on a discord they were like well what about that lord of the rings movie review you did that was kind of cool like try try a tiktok of that and you know, maybe, you know there's a big filmmaking tiktok community and yeah, you uh, should. I think it seemed like there was a lot of views and engagement on like the Evol one. So I think like anything, uh, doing more of those horrid Mac shorts would probably yeah. be good too. Uh, strangely, on TikTok, that wasn't one of the biggest ones. That's that's actually in the two hundreds. Hmm. But on I, you know on you know, Instagram, it probably would be pretty large. The biggest ones were, you know, we did this like a Pizza Hut. Well, actually, the honest trailer ones is like eleven hundred on TikTok. Oh wow. That's the highest one. That's more so than Anakin. And um, yeah, shout out to uh, to to our friend Dream Prophet on Discord for his lovely Photoshop job of Anakin with the Chicago Bulls hat and the. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a good job. So yeah, look for more. It seems like they're positively. Uh, you know, the, we've got this like pretty cynical audience of of people who, you know, at least half of them are like, when are you going to talk about Bimmy again? And the other half, it, you know, they came from that community, so they're they're like cynical people. So it could it could have easily been like, "What are you doing with this fucking TikTok shit?" <laughs> but I've, I did have a no time joke in my latest review. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, you got it. You know, something I, for the peeps. I stole that from uh, local loco banditos's clips, and I, I consolidated it even more because I cut out like all the dead space, and it's just I don't have any time. I don't have time. Don't have time. <laughs> Um, so I, I, I enjoyed that very much. Um, yeah. and I'll keep doing it probably. I, I really, part of it is like, sometimes it can be really hard to come up with. I mean, obviously we always do it, but you know, when you're facing a mountain of footage and you're like, oh, oh my God, I edit this fucking video into something and I got to do it by Sunday. Um, being like, yeah, but, or you could spend an hour making a really cool little TikTok and like, and then go to bed. You know, it's, it's a yeah. little, it's a little bit enticing. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a quicker reward, you know. A quicker feeds into that loop a little quicker. But I I still feel like we interface with it so differently than most people would, where they would um like we have we have a fan Lauren who has like a fairly big uh, following on TikTok. She mostly um just kind of ironically talks about Shrek. And uh, as as you do, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a young lady who talks ironically about Shrek. People like that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> That's a it's very sort of Ms. Marvel in uh, we we both have made Shrek videos. I'm, right. I'm not, I'm... <laughs> That's what I was like, well, you know what? I have cut together a, a bit of Shrek myself. I'm something of a Shrek man myself. I'm something of a Shrek man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I I tried it. Uh and they, they got decent engagement. There's some like I I remember today, Junt Sness, um, I have dozens of one minute clips from that, that I had made of like, oh. profiling the ver- Yeah. That I had uploaded to Instagram a long time ago. And I realized like that is something I could just plop into. That's like, true. We could put some borders on it and call it a day. Call it a day. But you know, I do have this tendency to, to reframe it and, and yeah. enlarge and over. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Overdo it. But it, 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 perhaps for the sake of time, since there is none, as as we've established. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.